DC's newest bridge is cracking in spots. All along the brand new Frederick Douglass Bridge over the Anacostia River, you now see these cracks and markings along the piers that support the iconic arches of the bridge. Well, DDOT is classifying these cracks as micro cracks, but if you get close enough and you put your hand up to it, pretty much takes up the entire space of your hand here. And it's not just one of these arches or two of these arches. Pretty much every single arch on this new bridge has these so-called micro cracks in them. Well, DDOT says the cracks are not structural and they're very common. The agency declined an on-camera interview, instead sending us this statement saying the cracks result from a very high-strength concrete mix that was used, which had a low water-to-cement ratio. Surface water can evaporate from the structure due to the heat of the concrete during the curing process. This is what causes the superficial cracks to appear during the first year. But some aren't so convinced. This resident didn't want to go on camera, but watch the bridge being built from the ground up. Now you see this, and it's quite shocking. For a new bridge to have cracks this soon, it makes you wonder. Yeah. They may say it's structurally sound, but... I mean, there are lots of bridges in this country that are supposedly structurally sound, you know, and then next thing you know, they start crumbling. This resident Gilbert out for a run with his child across the bridge. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look good. I mean, they spent enough money on it, so I hope, uh, I hope it's not a big problem. DDOT tells us the contractor will start aesthetic repairs in the spring when warm temperatures will help the material that's applied to the cracks restore the new look of the bridge. At the Douglas Bridge, Adam Tuss, News 4. DDOT told us the contractor will perform the repairs under the terms of its contract at no extra cost.